What is up gentlemen, welcome back to this new tutorial. So now we're going to be learning how can we execute a PHP function based on a button click. So once we click on a button, we're going to be executing a PHP function. So in my case, I'm going to be using this example. So I want once we click on add to cart, what I would like to do is to insert some information about this uh, product. So let me show you this template that I'm using. So you can see that this button over here, just remove this to two. Just put it over there for a test. You can see it's going to be keep updating. So let's get to work. So the first thing that I'd like to do is to change this button into an input because input works. Uh, this button does not work in our method. So I'm going to use an input over here. So basically this is our button, the type of it. So for the type, I'm going to be using the submit, submit so that we can have it clickable. Let me show you that. Okay. You can see that submit query. Also, we can change the name of the of it. So over here we can add value and inside this value, we can call it, for example, add to cart like this, save, get back over here, do a refresh. And as you can see, it's updating. So for now, I'm going to just delete this button. We don't need it and just focus on this one. So what we, what we need to do is let's create first that function that we want to execute. So inside our HTML, I'm going to be using a PHP tag. So let's open a PHP tag like this get down and let's close it over here and let's do or let's write some code so first what you need to do is to do a check condition so if this button is clicked do the following so if is set what is set so since we're going to be using the post method so dollar sign dash post make sure it's uppercase and let's open the square brackets like this and inside the square brackets we need to put the name of this input so you can see over here that we got this name. So inside that, let's put something, something unique. For example, let's call it btn dash atc, which is a button add to cart. So I'm going to just copy this name over here and let's put it inside the brackets like this. Okay. So over here, let's open again, these parentheses get down. So over here, whatever we put inside this uh, function over here, it's going to be executed based on this button click. So for example, you can uh, echo hello world not hello world hello everybody we're sick of that hello world hello everybody you just clicked on this button okay just close that but also what we need to do for this input we need to put it inside a form so basically since we're using this post type so we need to include that so over here i'm going to be using a form form like this let's get down i'm going to just copy this input paste it inside over here and over here we need to add the method so over here method which is post post just just uh, up, uh, lowercase no need to make it uppercase okay so we set the post method over here we set input type submit the name of it value at cart excellent and also we have over here but the problem over here with this uh, with this value so once we click on this one uh, WordPress doesn't know where to load this function, doesn't know where to put it. So instead of echoing this value, we're going to be doing something else, which is to insert some data into the database. So this is our database. I'm just using a local host. So if you want me to, to make a tutorial on how to create, set a local environment in your PC, let me down in the, down in the description. So by the way, I'm using this uh, awesome program, Laragon, which makes it really uh, super light there is no need and it's also free okay so over here what i would like to do is let's insert some value for example to this title okay so let's do that so over here so we need first to include the wordpress so global wpdb wordpress database and down below we need to insert so let's write that insert before that again wordpress database let's assign it to insert this insert function let's open the brackets close it with the semicolon and let's get down so the first parameter of course is going to be the name of our table that we want to insert data into it in our case it's this one over here web products so we can do the following like this open the square uh, the quotation marks and let's put web dash products okay let's add a comma over here let's get down and let's create uh, this array to put to insert all the data but the problem with this naming over here so we might face some problems because sometimes in wordpress uh, based on the user he might change this web page. we might have something else 
So in our case, we want to avoid that problem. So in that case, I'm going to just let WordPress take care of it. So instead of doing that, we're going to just put WP. Yes, again, the WordPress WP DB. And let's use the prefix, prefix point products like this. So in the second parameter over here, I'm going to be using, I think it's title. Title, let me check. Okay, we got title over here. So let's assign it to the father, which is, this is, you can, you can just uh, write this one. Or you know what, let's just write it. This is our first product title like this, okay? So there is no need to add the comma over here because we're having just one row. Excellent, so I'm gonna do save and let's get back over here and let's do refresh. Oops, not in the checkout. Let's do refresh over here. So we got our add to cart. So, so far, if we do refresh over here, you can see it's empty. We have, we have nothing. So once we click on add to cart, it's to refresh. And as you can see, it's working like magic. So what we learned so far is how to execute this function over here based on this button click on this button click. So if you are, if you have any questions about this tutorial, let me know down in the description. Also, if you are interested in creating an e-commerce plugin, make sure to check the tutorials down below. Okay, so thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you in the coming tutorial. Take care.